Hey there, I'm Jennifer Bands, and today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm gonna show you how to make this keto beef tips and gravy recipe. Hello, we are gonna get started with this beef tips and gravy recipe. So first thing we need to do is heat a skillet over about medium high heat, and I'm gonna add a tablespoon of avocado oil to the pan. Okay, I've got one and a half pounds of sirloin cubed sirloin. So we're going to add that to the skillet. And I'm going to season it with a teaspoon of kosher salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And now we just want to get some color on this. Okay, we've got some nice color on our steak. So I'm going to remove it from the pan. I reduced the heat to medium. And now I'm going to add three tablespoons of butter and melt that. And I've got a small diced onion. And we're gonna cook the onion until it's translucent. It's probably gonna take about five to eight minutes. Okay, our onions are looking good, so I'm gonna add three cloves of minced garlic. And the written recipe calls for xanthan gum, but I'm gonna try and use arrowroot starch. I just wanna give you guys an alternative to xanthan gum. And now arrowroot starch is not as commonly available as xanthan gum, I've noticed. I ordered this on Amazon. So I'm using a tablespoon. I'm just gonna put it right in my beef broth. And I'm gonna stir that up because it combines really easily with cold liquid. And then it's activated by heat, just like xanthan gum. So I'm going to add in two cups. This is two cups of beef broth. I'm going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce or tamari and two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and a half a teaspoon of dried thyme. So any brown bits that you have on the bottom of the pan, we're going to scrape that up. And now I'm going to add the beef back to the pan carefully so it doesn't splash. Oh, and it did. And now I'm going to bring this up to a simmer or bring it up to a boil and then reduce to a simmer. Okay, we're boiling, so I'm going to reduce the heat. And then we're going to let this simmer for about 30 minutes. It's going to let our meat get nice and tender. Our gravy is going to get really nice and thick. And then this is going to be ready. Okay, our steak and gravy has been simmering for 30 minutes and it is looking amazing. Our sauce is getting nice and thick and it will thicken as it cools. Our steak is nice and tender. This would be perfect on top of like some mashed cauliflower or even just like steamed vegetables or, you know, you know, potatoes if that's what you want. I'm going to just garnish it with a little bit of chopped parsley. And yeah, that's all there is to it. So be sure you check out this recipe. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.